Today's the day. We're gonna start seeding. I think it'll be awesome. Right. Yeah, I'm, I'm excited to get some seed in the ground. Yeah, it's yeah, gonna gonna, it's gonna be peasy easy. I hope so. I hope so. Last year was a rough start. We had a rough start with the two buds, both injectors or both buds having problems with injectors. This year, let's not have very many problems. <coughs> I think that'd be great. So, what do you think, Dad? Um, yeah, we're seeding pulse. All right, we gotta fill the drill, put some uh, inoculant on, and uh, calibrate it, and then we should be good to go. That other drill is ready to go too. So, okay, good deal. Let's go get some seed in the ground. Oh uh, yeah. Sweet. It's a good feeling to start getting these things out of the yard. Put a lot of work into these air drills and uh, tractors and we're just trying to, trying to get the work done. It's gonna be a good day. I can tell. It's gonna be a really good day. Oh yeah. All right, welcome to the channel. This is day one of spring seeding 2024. We're getting right at it. Got both rigs going. One took off to the east, one took off to the west, right here. So we're gonna start working these peas into the ground. These are yellow peas going in. Ground's ready for it. <clears throat> There's already some stuff growing in here, but we're gonna take care of that real soon. Looking good. Dad's gonna unfold the drill. Let's get going. Welcome along, guys. Let's make it happen. Let's, uh, let's go pull the pins so we can wing this thing out. Now these are safety pins so that if the hydraulic hose leaks or if uh, something's leaking past in the system and leads the hydraulics out, the wings won't fall down on themselves. So there's four pins. One's right here. We just take it and uh, Put it in a different slot so it's unpinned. Where is it? There we go. Old glory, love it. Absolutely love it. There's another one. We've got one more to do. There we go. Now let's go wing this thing out. just 
throw it forward a little bit, put a little seed in the ground. I'm gonna run out, check the depth, and see what uh, what it looks like. Move that out of the way, there we go. Then I gotta set my rate between the three tanks, figure out what kind of poundage I wanna put down. Palace breaker, I should say. Look at that. Oh, that is beautiful. I love it. I absolutely love it. All right. Oh, there we go, right there. So I'm gonna go at least inch and a half to two inches down. So that's about my depth right there. That's pretty close. It's not bad there. Oh, there's another one. That's about two inches there. So yeah, I'm just gonna walk across, make sure it looks good. And then uh, if I need to, I'll set it down. If I don't, leave it out. I am in the 600 Big Bud. Oh man, did I miss this tractor. I'll tell you, this is a pretty sweet tractor. It's got an old school feel to it, but yet nice, wonderful case IHC and a bunch of electronics and a bunch of other stuff and this thing can hold its own compared to the new tractors. I mean, don't get me wrong, it's not as powerful as the new, new tractors these days, but it held its stands for quite a long time. I mean, 1979 was this year that this was uh, built and uh, how many years later is it still running? That's pretty impressive. Yeah, it takes a lot of effort to, and, and some money along to keep it running, but it's a sweet tractor. Anyways, I wanted to point out something that was kind of interesting. Oil pressure on here is 50 PSI. When we used to run the tractor, we're like 35 to 40 at the max. That's how, that's the most oil pressure we ever got in this thing. Well, the only thing I can think of that changed was when we pulled the oil pump off the front of the motor, we put new O-rings on it, and one of the O-rings was cracked and broke. We thought we broke it when we pulled it out, but I think it's been broke for a long time. So it's just been bleeding off oil pressure out of that pump and not building as much. Well, now I'm getting 50 PSI, so that's pretty sweet. The other thing that's kind of sweet is we had a problem with this air gauge over here. The pump would boost up a ways and then blow it off and boost up and blow it off. And I put a new uh, governor on and did a bunch of other stuff, couldn't figure it out. Brian messed with it and guess what? Brian, I think fixed it. I don't know what he did, but good job, Brian. I couldn't figure it out. You figured it out. Other than that, it's running great. And by the way, the 3555 cart, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I only had one little problem with that car today is one of the motors was kind of finicky, it wasn't really metering correctly, and so I went back there and messed with it and found, found out that the connector wasn't connected all the way and it just needed to go click, and now it's not giving me any grief. The only thing that is giving me grief is this monitor right here, the blockage system. No, I do not have a blocked run. There's something going on with the tower back there. I went back multiple times, checked. Nope, everything's seating. There's a bunch of seed on the ground, so I'm not gonna worry about that right now. It's telling me that there's something wrong when there's nothing wrong, so stop it. No, you behave, okay? Other than that, yeah. Oh, it feels good to be out of the shop. I'll tell you, I've been in the shop turning wrenches for quite a while and um, I'm glad to sit in a seat, especially a nice KSH seat. <laughs> oh yeah, as you can tell, I needed this. It's like uh, very soothing to the soul, right? Yeah, I like it. But first day seating, got a little later start, had some stuff going on, and I am happy so far. Things are working pretty good, and you know what? Let's keep it that way, <laughs> right? I agree. Ooh. Oh yeah, now I just gotta sit here, play the waiting game. Oh, we got Dad's drill on the ground, and we're just now checking the depth on it. So, product should have come through the drill. Let's take a look and see what we can find. We're shooting for around two inches this year. We're gonna go a little deeper than we have in the past because I think that's really what we should have been doing all along is seeing these peas a little deeper. So 
Where are the peas at? Oh, there's one. There's that one. It's a shallow one. There's a worm. That's a healthy sign. Glycophate didn't take him out. Is that one right there? There's one right there. This is shallow right there. You can see there's a shell. There's a pea right there. That's going on all of probably a little over inch, inch and a quarter, inch and a half. Yeah, inch and a half there. What's this one? This is a, that's a back one. So that one should be maybe a little deeper. Yeah, it's almost too wet. I'm getting, yeah, I know it is pretty wet. Did I'm you find it? Yeah, I've found a couple of them here. These are all kind of like right here. See that one? About an inch deep or so. It's really crusty, clumpy, crusty. Yeah. That's it's, not deep enough. I mean, if you're, it's just I mud. I haven't found it. I haven't found any seeds yet. There's a shell from one. There's a shell from one right there. Yeah, but there's got to be closer than that. Well, it might not have ran long. Well, enough. it was turning. There's one right there. I might have forgotten my lunch. Lucky for me, I got a wife that's very generous. She's going out here to uh, give me something. It'd be awesome. Love this. No coolant leaking. And no oil. At least from where we fixed it. There's other places, I won't talk about that. There we go. Oh. What are you guys doing? You? Oh, you have my headset. <laughs> you have my headset, Sneaker. That's mine. Can I ride with you? It's really hot in there. The AC's not working. I don't care. Okay. Yeah, come on, guys. Let's go, Raleigh. Yeah. Oh, you can't get out? Okay. You should probably take your coat off. It's going to be hot in there. Oh, yeah. He's not going to take a nap in there, but that's okay. All right. Let's get... Let's go over here to the... Thank you. Bye bye. Okay. Can you get up there? Somebody's in my seat. Who's in my seat? Move out of the way, sweetie. I know it isn't, but I need to get going so I can get seen. Whoa. You guys okay? so rude but he's rude oh sweet there's air pressure left over usually this truck doesn't have any air pressure because it leaks it out it's like a 1976 yeah yep, it's 1976 I had to think about it for a second so when you get that many years on it things just start leaking but it's a good old truck 855 855 Cummins Probably about 300 horsepower. Yeah. Oh, yeah. What a beast.
All right, well, we're back at this. Spent the whole day messing with an air drill. The other one it was a simple mistake with pressing the wrong button and the calibration was throwing numbers way off and it was plugging the manifold like in two seconds. We finally figured it out and we're good to go now. Dad's running, so we'll get leg arms topped off here, get him going again too. And it's gonna be basically a day, you know, a short day. push the fan forward? I did, but I don't think I pushed it the right forward. Farthest lever, it's the fan. Yeah, Farthest I don't think lever, I did the fan. you gotta push forward. I think I did the wrong lever. Because it uses, it uses the fan and the... Which one's the fan? Closest to the back window? That's the one closest to the cap. Oh, I did the wrong Hey, Nick, 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 what's this? Crap! I forgot about that! <laughs> hey, you looked at it! You were supposed to not look at it when you do that! Yeah. <laughs> Ridiculous. There it is. We had some electrical problems with the other drill and uh, we decided to take a piece off of this one to see if it was the problem and it wasn't. So put it back on. We got to figure it out. That's all that matters. So it's best to go to the far one first because then you know how far to reach the auger. Watch this guy do all the boxes. I think he needs hey to. guys, look, I'm a box truck driver, FedEx UPS. Okay, I know there's some of you that watch that work for that company. It's great companies. Totally making that up. We don't toss boxes hey, around here. Hey Nick, aren't you supposed to play like a Ace Ventura and you know kick the box around a couple times? And, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah, that's right. <laughs> <laughs> There we go. She's full. Ready to roll. Let's get on the road. Oh, that's a pretty sunset. Liking that. Does feel good to get going. Just kind of been looking forward to this since, uh, well, since last year's harvest. I'm excited because Every year brings a new chance to hopefully have one of those crops that, you know, just gets you ahead. I don't know if this is going to be the year. It's been a couple years of not having it, but eventually you'll get it. And, you know, it's going to be awesome and we'll be very thankful for it. So, but we'll just do what we do. We'll keep putting the seed in the ground and keep working on day and night and make it happen. It's still a riot every, every, every day. It's still fun. I just, I do love it. But I do wish I had more time with family. That's probably one of my biggest complaints about being a farmer. It's just, it's tough to get family time in. You just got a lot to do. So, but pretty soon you're gonna be able to work with me. So that's, that's where we'll get our family time, right?
that was a good day. There was definitely some things that slowed us down, but just got to get the rough edges smoothed out. It's fine tuning. First time of the season. Happens every year. We'll get the rhythm going. All right. Good night. See you guys tomorrow. Next video. Later.